Hi, my name is Greg Greenberg from Hanna Instruments. Today I'm going to introduce the HI8314 portable meter that measures pH, millivolts, and temperature in degrees Celsius. Let me show you what's in the box. When your meter arrives, it'll come in this rugged plastic carrying case, complete with a calibration certificate for the meter, a testing certificate for your pH temperature electrode, the electrode instruction guide, the meter, pH temperature electrode, the all-important instruction guide, quick reference guide if needed, some buffers and cleaning solutions. Next, let's talk about some features. Now that I've installed the batteries and connected the probe, I'm ready to turn the meter on. The first thing I'm going to see is the battery indication level followed by the pH reading. Now if I want to see the pH reading in millivolts and or connect an ORP probe, I simply hit the millivolt button to see that reading. If I want to see the temperature, I hit the temperature button, which displays in degree C. And when I'm ready to calibrate, I hit the pH button and go right into the calibration mode. Now an awesome feature about this meter is the fact that you have on-screen instructions for calibrating the probe. Next, let's use the meter. Before using a new probe for the first time, it's very important to condition it first. As you can see here, I've taken the liberty of putting the probe into a storage solution. In this case, it's HI70300. If you don't have a storage solution, that's okay. You can put it in a buffer as well. I'm going to leave this in the storage solution for approximately two hours. Once the two hours is up, I'm going to take the probe out, rinse it off in purified water, then dry it on a paper towel. Now I'm ready to calibrate. I'm going to turn my meter on let it go into its startup measurement mode. Hit the calibration button. Okay. And now we can follow the on-screen instructions and do the calibration. So it's asking me to put the probe into a seven buffer solution, which is what I've just done. And I'm going to let that take a reading. Now the meter says 6.99 so what I want to do is I want to adjust the offset to 7.01. So I'm going to turn the knob. Now I can turn the knob either with a screwdriver or a coin so I've gotten it to 7.01 now it's going back to 7.02 so I'm going to give it a little tweak and we're at 7. 01. I'm going to push the pH button and depending on my next or what I'm going to measure if it's an acid or a base I'm going to choose either a 4 or a 10. So in this case since I'm going to measure something that's acidic I still want to rinse my electrode off, dry it, and put it into a 4 buffer. Let it adjust. As you can see the numbers are moving. Now it's at 4.09, 4.10, so it's hovering around those numbers. So I think it's time for me to make the adjustment, which I'm going to do by using my coin and just adjusting the slope trimmer down to 4.01. Very easy to do. Okay, now I'm at 4.01. I simply push the cow button and my meter is ready to use. One final tip. Before you put your meter away, it's very important to keep your probe conditioned. So what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of storage solution Pour a little bit into the cap and put the cap back on the electrode and it's good to go for the next time. If you don't have a storage solution, again it's okay to use a buffer. In the event that you ever have 
drifting or erratic readings. It could be an indication that your probe is dirty. We offer cleaning solutions as well. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of the HI8314. If you have any questions or need additional support, please contact your local HANA office. Thank you very much.